Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make a door in Red Studio with a cool looking animation. Like if you open the Wii Life, a door. So I already built a door here. And the door is built with a door frame as a model inside of the door complete door. You don't need a door frame actually, I just made it there. And a door model. So I, you always see a script here, which basically just welds all the door parts that you can see right now to this invisible part all the side here on the left. If I scale it up, see here the invisible part. That's basically the rotation point of the door when it opens. So I made the script here because I realized the perfection weld script breaks the door because it doesn't rotate. So basically what I did is I will put those um, door into the description with the import ID. Yeah, I will export it and you can just import it into the game and edit it if you want. So I basically loop to the script.parent, check if the instance that the child is not the hinge and also if the part is a base part. And if that's all, so I create a weld get the C-frame of the hinge and the part with C0 and C1, inverse the C-frames of them, and just set the weld C-frame to these and also the part to these, and set the these parts to answered false. So what is important, the hinge always has to be answered, and if you edit this model, all the other parts can also be answered if you want. Because if I would now disable the answer of these parts and I would press one and you look at this part here, you see it fall down a bit. That's because the words were not created fast enough. So if I turn this on and it looks the same, but it's not answered anymore. If you want to put like models with parts inside of this, you could just replace this with loop to loop to descendants with the script parent and also part as output and just replace this block. Okay. Now I also have a click detector with max activation distance 10. That's all. Now the actually script to open and close the door. I'm going to call this door script. And we need a few things before we start with the actual code. We get the hinge C frame and output is as door origin. Oh, origin. Yeah. Then we need to set variable block with the variable for debounce, just db in short to false. And I will also use the uh, make a door open it to false. Right now the door is not open, so it's false. The debounce is for anti spam clicking it because we're gonna use tween cells. And if there are multiple tweens with one object, it would kind of look goofy. So now we're going to use the click detector interaction. After click detector, if you want to maybe check if a player has enough cash or something to open the door, you could just put the player here and check if he has enough cash, if you know how to do that. But I'm not going to do that, so we just let this empty. And the first thing we're gonna do is check if the variable, so use variable always on for variables, 
if the debounce equals to false if that is so we gonna put it to true so all the code after this with only one right now once i can basically show this print clicked so if i would press the door now once it says clicked if i press it again it's not cl saying clicked again because the wrong script wait the debounce is no longer false and this is also how you could make now a wait one and set the debounce to false again and now you you could see the click if i spam click now every one second if i spam click the whole time and we're gonna use this for the tween service because multiple tweet service is not good for now gonna put here in if the door how did you call this door opened equals to false and equals to true or the uh, door opened to true it's gonna put their block with target frame and then we just gonna insert this way able here the door origin and here we're gonna construct the C frame if it's not opened and here for the rotation you can put like let's use 110 this is the rotation it will basically turn so the hinge will return 180 uh, one about like that into this direction and this we're gonna call offset because if we would now put this as the target c frame the hinge would move to the position zero 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 and we don't want that so we're gonna multiply the draw origin times the offset and call this also target C frame. And now we just can put this down a little bit and just connect both of them to one tween. So we don't need to use more blocks. If you want another easing style, you could just do two tweens with different easing styles it would not really matter i'm just going to use one the c frame as a property and here we're going to put the target c frame time you can do whatever you want just make sure you put here maybe the same at least the same time or more like don't go under this this is not good this would look goofy sometimes you can also just do whatever easing style and easing direction you want repeat count you shouldn't touch and reverse also not just let it like that and now here i'm gonna insert a not gate and we're just gonna invert the door open to the same output basically if the door open is right now false it will be true and if it's true it will be false and we'll also do the debounce to false again you could put here a little weight if you want to actually prevent it from instantly being closed again when you click on it uh, this should now work let's play test it opens and if you click it again it closes and like you can see the hinge is the center point of the rotation so if we would move the hinge now to this side 
it would open like that. So this basically means you could also get the hinge and move it on top here and do inside this thing just test around with it a little bit and maybe if it's correct the Z oh no spawn on the plate please okay this is also a way to open a door I guess so you can basically play around with it a little bit move the hinge around play with these numbers like with this you could also make something like this you could make like a hatch if you want and yeah this is basically how you can make a cool looking animated door keep opening the wrong script let's put it back to how it was oh I keep spawning under this plate and yeah this is basically how you can make a cool door I hope you guys like this video if you have any ideas for videos write them into the comments uh, if I didn't put the model ID into the description also write this into the comments because maybe I forgot that but thanks for watching and bye bye